Hello YouTubers, this is Nick. I'm here to do my final review of the Emacs RS1606 4000KV motors. Um, my last review I was talking about how they were overheating. Um, I had no idea what I was doing at the time. I just slapped them on there and flew around and came back and they were like super hot. So I had to do some research online and I finally came up with an answer. What I will do is the CLI commands, I will put them down below in the description. Um, so some CLI commands and then thanks to uh, some fellow YouTubers that uh, had responded and given their input. Um, I've got these down to acceptable ranges. I flew around two full packs pumping them up in the air, doing wild flips, and they came back and they were barely warm. Um, at first I thought they were the batteries. I had this 4S850 milliamp battery on there and I thought, well, maybe that was the issue. So then I went out to RDQ and I got a 3S of the 850 uh, milliamp hour battery and that originally didn't help either. So I tried different props. Um, I started out with the 3x4 uh, V1S um, by HQ. And so I did the 850 3S with the HQ 3x3x3 and they were still hot. So I went out to Emacs and Emacs told me that these motors were just not meant for this size frame and so I posed back to them well why did they even advertise as 3 to 4S so then I got a response was well that uh, there are pilots out there that just don't care about the temperature uh, they don't care about the efficiency they just wanted to go 150 miles an hour and don't really care about the motors so like, ah, well, dang. So, anyway, I did the CLI commands, um, and then I tried a few th different things, and I found I love these motors. They just, probably not the most efficient motors. Um, Ray Harrell would probably say that, yeah, these are definitely not uh, very efficient, but I've got them, and... Now that I've got everything tuned, they work, it screams, and it comes back, and they are not super hot, so I'm happy. So, um, I'm not going to bash Emacs for their motors. Um, it does what it's supposed to do, so uh, my next, uh, if I was to have to rebuild this quad, I would probably go with the uh, Tornado 1407, somewhere like the 3600. Uh, milliamp uh, motor but other than that yeah it's a great motor it does what it's supposed to do so I will try to attempt adding my PIDs um, but I will tell you um, one of my viewers told me to lower the P way down to 30 and I swear that that is it um, so anyway Thanks for sticking in there with me. I have to apologize for the late review. Uh, we had a death in the family, so it's just been chaotic. Uh, but this is finally it. I'm super stoked about these motors. Great on you, Emacs. And uh, thank you, Joshua Bardwell, uh, Ray Harrow, and all the people out there that are uh, supporting this YouTube channels, um, this hobby, rather. And, uh, yeah everybody is has been uh, super helpful and i'm excited to go out and fly this i will have to do a review for the uh, fox air mix um, but we'll leave that out of this one um, but right now i'm just waiting for a falcor to come in and we're going to try that one all right guys thanks a lot <laughs> just a quick sidebar um, I just wanted to see how many of you tried your motors with the 1500 4S battery I know I did and it took off and it flew like there was no tomorrow so yeah these motors can definitely handle a uh, uh, 1500 milliamp 
uh, forest battery with no issues. Um, is it going to fly efficient? Probably not, um, but it will scream, and these motors will definitely carry it. So, somebody thinking uh, putting on a GoPro on there? Yeah, these motors would definitely handle it. All right, thanks again.